Hi right, guys, uh, welcome back to uh, my channel, uh, The World's Strongest Dad. I know I haven't been posting many videos lately, but that's because I've been busy training. Um, we're down at the den today, at a secret location where beasts are created. Um, today we're going to be doing the Atlas Stones, um, Harper Stones. So a shout out to, uh, to them for sorting them stones out for me. We're going to do a, a plan put together by Sean Tierney from uh, the Tierney Stream. So here we've got 70, an 80, 100 and then the 120. So uh, we're a little bit dirty but we're going to be using our, um, our stone sleeves and uh, we've got some tacky in the car that's just warming up so it should make it nice and, nice and easy for us. So we've warmed our tacky up in the car. Um, this is grade one training tacky. Uh, bear in mind it's probably well, about one degrees outside. So it's very, very cold at the moment. So we'll just take a little bit of time to work this tack in, get nice and warm and supple. So we've got the tacky nice and supple. Uh, that will work in a little bit more, maybe a little bit too much tacky on at the moment. Uh, just remember that sometimes more isn't better. Um, we'll do all right for today. And we're going to talk through about lifting the stone. So when you're lifting the stone, um, there's two ways of lifting the stone. You can either lift it, lap it, and then bring it up to the podium, or you can one motion it. So on a good day, I can probably one motion the stone, the 70 kilos in competition, because we've got a bit of adrenaline. But we're going to um, we're going to go through the whole the whole process. So you want to stand above the middle of the stone and find a balance point. You don't want to be too far forward or too far back because it's a sphere shape. It could roll out. Scoop your hands underneath from like a squat position. Bring it up onto your lap. Reposition your hands and then explosively drive up, putting it onto the uh, onto the podium. So. Um, Bearing in mind I'm a little bit cold, might be a little bit slow to begin with, but hopefully we'll start to warm up as we get into it. Just to uh, show the difference, I'm going to try on one motion this one for you. Still the 70 kilos. Move up to the 80 kilo. The 100 kilo. So now we're on to the 120. Um, I've lifted heavier in competition, but there's a little story behind this fat boy. He's got a name, I'm not going to tell you whose name that is, but those who know, know. Um, and when I was getting ready for my first competition, he took my right bicep. in training, uh, but we're going to have a, have a little go again today. son Louis, who uh, just give Louis a big shout out and a big thank you for doing the recording today. 
He's just got a couple of questions from uh, a, a couple of people who've recently contacted us. So, uh, what have we got, Louis? Well, we've got a comment from uh, Bison from Bison MMA. Yep. He says, um, the gym is coming along, along really nicely. Have you got any plans to get any more equipment in 2022? Yeah, so new equipment, it's always um, top of the list, really. We just got a, uh, a monster dumbbell last week, some farmer's walk handles and a, uh, a new lighter lock um, just to help us with our technique and our form. Um, but hopefully soon, oh, we've also got an Axel, uh, Axel EZ bar, but also um, we've got plans in the future for a uh, Axel straight bar, because uh, one of the competitions has got um, an Axel bar overhead press for reps, which I'm looking forward to, and uh, some silver dollar attachments for the old deadlift. And hopefully we'll get a 140 and a 160 uh, at the stone soon. Now, uh, I've got a personal question here saying, what got you into like strongman and stuff? Like uh, what got me into it was uh, I was always into my training and my bodybuilding. Um, and then I fell out of love with the bodybuilding and the, uh, believe it or not, the self-obsessed, I love me, look at me. Um, I'm so beautiful sort of aspect to it, but I, I still enjoyed the training. And uh, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before, I was in a bit of a, a low point in my life for whatever reason, nothing sort of triggered that, just felt a bit down, um, wasn't doing any training. We watched The World's Strongest Man over Christmas and my partner Hannah said, uh, why don't you have a go at that? And I thought, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have a go at that. So I ended my first competition uh, last year, come first, went up a category, um, very quickly ended my second one in a higher category, held my own. Um, Got in the top 25% of that, so I'm still in that category this year. Got a few competitions planned there, hopefully dominate this category um, this year and then move up another category for next year. Nice, uh, we have another question. Um, what would you say to any like younger people out there who are trying to like, who've been getting uh, inspired by you, trying to be like a strong man or stuff? Uh, you to them? Yeah, don't, don't give up. Don't let anybody knock your confidence. Um, even me, myself, uh, recently a couple of people made a couple of comments. One said, just do you, Wayne, just be you. Um, someone else said, uh, trust the process. Um, and that, even you know, you know, I'm quite knowledgeable within the industry, it's sometimes um, it's good to have support from other people. So if you're starting out here and there's people around you supporting you, um, embrace that support and uh, use that. And if there's anybody being negative towards you, don't even waste your time or energy. You know, you just 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 be you. And as long as you're happy, it don't matter about what anybody else says, thinks, does at all. Um, yeah, you know, get in contact if you want any help with the training. Thank you. I think that really like probably helps a lot of people out there. Um, thank you. Cheers, bye.